as a computer user you have the space to secure sensitive data located on your computer now using the command line interface is a powerful and efficient way to ensure your information remains confidential so as a user of your computer system that is your personal computer as explained earlier or based on the descriptive information i provided you have the preference or you have your personal reason to secure your data and definitely most of your files or most of your data found on your local computer might be very very confidential to you and it is necessary it is very important for you to secure those data to prevent other people such as hackers or any other personnel who might have access to your personal information and have some negative effect upon you so it is better for you to secure your important files and using the command line interface to secure your information is the best option you should optimize and i'm going to show you how to use the command line that is the command line interface of command prompt window to secure our data on our windows interface now on this desktop you can see that i have these icons available and i have some created folders which are this folder and also this particular folder and i have these files also located here and i want to secure them all these files are very important to me and especially this particular folder and this folder they contain some sensitive files which are located in them therefore i'm going to show you how you can hide your files and also how to hide your folders containing individual files so let's quickly open the command prompt on our desktop now this is the window of command prompt and i'm going to snap this window to the right side by holding the windows key and the right arrow key I have videos on my channel that provides you some keyboard shortcuts you can utilize to perform some certain tasks or some operations on your windows interface especially using the command prompt window and i will link that video in the description below check it out after watching this particular video now this is my command prompt window with this particular line of path and currently i have this as my current location i'm going to switch to the desktop so that we can have access to these folders and files and hide them for confidential reason so i'm going to type the cd desktop because the desktop is a directory located in this current location and yours might be different depending on the username of your computer system now the desktop becomes my current directory therefore all these items are located in this location and i'm going to hide this particular file so this is what we're going to type we are going to use the attribute command so i'm going to type the attribute command then you press the space bar and we need the plus symbol and the letter h We press the space bar and we are going to key in the file name we want to hide and currently this is the file i want to hide so as you can see this file is found on the desktop so i'll move back to my command prompt interface and then i'm going to type the file name and also you have to notice this whenever you are typing the file name you make sure to add the extension because the command line interface is able to identify a particular file based on its extension so this is the extension of this particular file so in this interface i'm going to press the enter key or the keyboard now when you get back to your desktop interface you can see that the file that was located here has been hidden therefore it is not found if any other user or any other computer user get access to this computer system and try to search for this file it is not going to be accessible now we can also apply the same effect to these additional files so i'm going to type the attribute command in this case i'm going to use the up arrow key on the keyboard to reveal this previous command and i'm going to erase this command and type the names of this particular files
now i have used this similar syntax which is the command syntax to hide all these files on the desktop so this is how to hide your files using the command prompt interface now let's see how we can hide these directories let's assume we are applying this particular option now you can see that when we apply this particular option to this folder this has also hide this folder from the desktop background now i have this folder here there is another way of hiding folder with its related content and to do this we are going to use this command that is at the attributes command with the plus h forward slash s and also forward slash d and this is going to hide the folder and its related content therefore i'm going to type the name of this folder and since this folder has two names given to it we need to place this name in a parenthesis or a quotation mark now we have used the attribute command to hide our folders and also our files and i'm going to also show you how you can show these particular files and folders back to your current location but before then working through all the above commands in this command line interface this provides privacy security and also organizational of your files and folders when this is done it serves as a secret room ensuring that only authorized users can access important information on your personal computer so now that we have this idea how can we unhide this particular files therefore i'm going to use the app arrow key to reveal these commands then in this case in this command line instead of the plus h i'm going to delete to have it as minus h then i'll hit the enter key now i'm back to my desktop you can see that i have revealed this particular folder i'm going to use my up arrow key once again this has also revealed this particular item so you can see that i am revealing my files and folders on my desktop background and the only thing that you can do among these commands is to just change the plus symbol and replace it with the minus symbol now i have perfectly and also progressively revealed all these files and folders back to my desktop background let's assume that you have other locations you want to hide those items that are in that particular location let me open my file explorer in a navigation pane of this file explorer i have documents and in this document we have this folder let's assume that we want to hide these items in this folder and this folder is located in the local disk therefore we can hide this so that all these items will be hidden so i'm going to type this command in this particular line of path in this case i am going to switch from this desktop to the document directory so i'm going to type the cd dot dot and then i'm going to type dir in this current location and in this list i have documents available i'm going to select and i'm going to hit the enter key now now i have pasted this directory in this line of path where i have the cd command therefore i have accessed this current location where i can hide my items now when you type dir in this location these are the items in this directory therefore i can hide the wonder share camtasia or custom office template so i'm going to type the attribute command
now this is hidden if i type the dir you can see that now we have wonder share and also the custom office template what we had in this previous list now the camtasia is not in this list therefore this directory is hidden if you want to bring it back we just hold the up arrow key and then use the minus symbol enter key and then when i type dir now in this list i have camtasia available so this is how to hide and also show some files and folders for security reasons or confidential reasons and this helps you to keep your privacy and also to maintain your data from being accessed by other computer users and notice you can hide items in different location the only thing is to use your command line interface to access the particular location and access the files and folders involved and hide them for your personal requirement 